If you're following Death vs. Herd, you might know a report came out about how supposedly bots were the ones that made some anti-Amber things trend. Now, with common sense, we gotta say this. Giant Depp is arguably one of the most famous people in the world. We've got world leaders, then we've got movie stars who get to be the most famous, with a few people who are like pros in their field, like Albert Einstein, Mike Tyson, and the other sports figures and things like that. But basically, it's actors and world leaders. Johnny Depp's arguably one of the biggest actors in history. So obviously, he's going to have a huge organic following. We know it's at least tens of millions based on Instagram, views, videos about Johnny Get, his movies, things like that. So using common sense on the very, very fundamental level, it's not too hard to figure out that somebody like Johnny has a huge organic following. Not only is he just a big name, he's also one of a kind. So that even adds to his fame and the passion people have for defending him. So this is called Targeted Trolling and Trend Manipulation, How Organized Attacks on Amber Heard and Other Women Thrive on Twitter. Not sure about other women, unless they mean Evan Rachel Wood, who's trying to pull a similar thing Amber did, but okay. They've got their table of contents. It's pretty well put together, I'll give them that. And then their key findings. We identified 627 Twitter accounts focused predominantly on tweeting negatively about Amber Heard and her female supporters. Well, hold on. How many Twitter accounts are there? According to Twitter, they've got over 300 million users. So 627 is not a very big number. Even if everything they say and their complete narrative is true, the numbers they work with, the sample sizes are really tiny. Then number two is 3,288 accounts were tweeting Amber Heard's an abuser, Amber Heard's a liar, Amber Heard's an abuser, Amber Heard's a liar, and 19% of those accounts were dedicated to spamming the hashtags. So 19% of like 3,300 is a little less than a 1,000. Out of the hundreds of millions of accounts that are out there, they're not too good at math, really. And I'm not great at it, but I could see. Women who tweeted in support of Amber Heard were subjected to rampant abuse and targeted harassment on Twitter. Okay, so talking about Amber supporters here who supposedly are victims also. Someone used a photo of a woman's deceased child to create a fake account and troll the woman because she tweeted in support of Amber Heard. Toxic trolls use hashtags spamming to trend anti-Amber Heard hashtags artificially. Now, I gotta say this. I don't trust this because I don't think a company like this, who's supposed to be professional, should be using words like toxic trolls. Toxic trolls is what Lucasfilms uses, Warner Brothers, and places like that to deflect the fact they've got woke movies people don't want to watch, and they need a scapegoat. That scapegoat is the toxic trolls. The magical toxic trolls under your bed like the boogeyman in the forest like Bigfoot and stuff like that. Okay, there are some out there, but not the amount they want you to believe. And it depends on the nature. Not everything's trolling. As you'll see, what they point out is not exactly what you'd call trolling in the sense of what a troll is and what it stands for. Over 24% of the accounts tweeting anti Amber Heard hashtags were created within the past several months. All right, reasonable considering the trial got hundreds of millions, if not billions of views, which they admit somewhat. Then they say tactics like copy pasta was used and toxic trolls continued to tweet anti Amber Heard hashtags and attack women weeks after the Depp and Heard trial ended. Well, okay, here's the thing. The mainstream media and people like Eve Barlow, who supports this site, won't stop. So obviously, Depp fans are going to respond. And they say they were hired by Amber Heard's legal team, so that obviously clears up some of the bias they have, because if it wasn't biased, they'd examine Amber's accounts and the people tweeting about Amber and Johnny and figure out if they're bots or not. But they're not doing that. What they're doing is only on the side of Amber, and the media claims they're nonpartisan. If Amber's team wanted a nonpartisan report, They'd say, get us all the info out there on Johnny and Amber hashtags, and let's figure out which ones are fake, which ones are bots. But no, they're ignoring the ones that are negative towards Johnny, aren't they? And they say they analyzed 
14,292 tweets with the hashtags Amber's a liar, Amber's an abuser. You know what we're talking about. Again, I mean, small channels like this have had videos that got hundreds of thousands of views, thousands and tens of thousands of comments over time. So that's just a tiny number. Then there's bigger channels and bigger accounts that get way more than 14,000 comments and tweets on them and things like that. So again, is that supposed to be impressive? 14,000? That's like a drop on top of a drop in the bucket. It's nothing. And they do admit that some of the accounts were probably created because of high interest in the case. But they gravely underestimate that. Because the interest was historically through the roof. They point out some of these memes that got around and these gifts that got around. Okay, I mean, that's what happens, basically. People cut and paste gifts and memes and spread them around. It's pretty normal across the board for everything. Now they say this one here got spammed that says, People turned against Amber Heard not because Johnny Depp is a powerful man or a famous actor, but because we watched the trial and saw who was telling the truth and who wasn't. Now, how is that trolling? That's absolutely true. People watched the trial for six long weeks and they came to a conclusion. And that conclusion, along with the jury, was Johnny got abused, Johnny got defamed, it had nothing to do with him being powerful. So even if this is copy pasta, copy and paste, spam, it's not really trolling because it's true. And they use the word troll over and over and over, like kids in a high school cafeteria. The thing is this, there's anger built up in people over the years about what happened to Johnny, and not everyone can control it perfectly. Also, some people who believed Amber then saw the trial after five years, the ones who were big about it saw they were wrong, probably got pretty angry, they were fooled. So they took it out on people who still believe Amber. And they go on about their 14,000 tweets and 627 measly, measly little accounts. And they list the accounts, at least they're putting it out there, so it's not just a blind study or something like that. And they list the Twitter rules, which doesn't matter, anyone can see it, plus they're pretty flexible for the people on Twitter's side, depending on your political point of view and things like that. So Twitter doesn't really have fair rules set in stone. They've got rules where they judge situation by situation whether they think the person's out of line or not. So their conclusion is that because of this small group of trolls, these things trended. The implication is, I guess Johnny doesn't have an organic fan base who's there every day, like me and a lot of other people you know, working hard looking for facts, keeping ourselves like 95% cool with the occasional joke here and there, which is pretty normal. They want people to believe in bots. They go on to say they have 100,000 real active users. None of those are bots or fakes or doubles or anything. They're, of course, 100% real fans of Bot Sentinel. We know that for sure. But I'd bet maybe like 627 aren't real. Just my opinion, though. Can't prove it independently. Anyway, shout out to Sheila Aliens who sent me this. I'd go over the whole report, but I do not have time for that. I've got other videos to make. Got a full-time job. Got kids who are real, not bots, by the way. So the main point is their sample size was very tiny. If you're not subscribed here, click that subscribe button. I'm doing shout outs. Special thanks, celebrity news, stuff like that. If you don't subscribe, I'll be sad. But I'll get over it. Done here for now. See you next time.